belly fat is not easy to lose. And I think the majority will agree with me on that. It is so easy to put on five pounds, but when it comes to losing five pounds, it almost seems impossible. The best things in life are never easy. I'm going to share with you the top ways supported by research on how to lose abdominal fat. First, let's talk about fitness and then we'll get into nutrition. So let's start by busting a common myth out there. Spot training reduces the fat in a certain area of your body. So a lot of people will spot train such as doing crunches because they think it's going to decrease their abdominal fat. However, research does not support spot training. When you lose weight, genetics usually plays a huge part in it, along with gender. So men will usually lose their fat in their belly last, and women will usually lose their fat in their legs and their butt last. There has only been one type of exercise supported by research that I have found that does reduce belly fat, and it's called HIIT training, high intensity interval training. Intensity refers to the difficulty of the exercise. So a low intensity will be easy and a high intensity will be difficult. So with high intensity interval training, you are going to switch from a low or moderate intensity to a high intensity. And you're gonna go back and forth between the two. So you may do one minute of a low or moderate intensity followed by 30 seconds of high intensity and then go back to the one minute of low to moderate intensity. And usually you only need to do this for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can even end with a cool down after you've done the HIIT training for about 10 minutes. So you will in fact lose more belly fat doing the HIIT training than running for 30 minutes at a constant speed. And along with doing HIIT training, building more muscle is also going to increase your basal metabolic rate, which in turn will help you burn more calories throughout the day and help you lose fat overall, your whole body. Okay, let's get into nutrition. First, we're gonna talk about protein. Now, there's some people that have way too much protein, which turns straight into fat. We don't want to do that, right? So we need to make sure we're having enough protein to sustain our muscles and build them along with decreasing our body fat percentage. So I found a really interesting study where they had two groups, one on a high protein diet, which 25% of their calories came from protein. And then the second group was on a high carbohydrate diet in which they only had 12% of their calories from protein. And what they found is the group that was on the high protein diet ended up losing more abdominal fat. So we wanna make sure we're getting enough protein. So in order to calculate your protein, you wanna convert your weight into kilograms. And you do that by dividing your weight in pounds by 2.2. And then once you get your weight in kilograms, that's when you wanna do one gram of protein per kilogram. Now, if you're doing resistance training, you wanna bump it up to 1.5 grams per kilogram. Okay, so we're done talking about protein. Now we need to talk about sugar and alcohol. Both of these have been found to increase our belly fat. So if we get rid of alcohol and sugar from our diet, we will be more likely to lose our belly fat. So the last piece of research that I found is probably the most interesting and something that I didn't even know. The researchers found that green tea can help reduce abdominal fat in overweight and obese adults. What they found is that green tea has a thing called catechin inside of it. Catechins are a type of natural phenol and antioxidant naturally found in green tea. This chemical enhances exercise and due abdominal fat loss. So in order to actually lose the abdominal fat, you don't, you can't just drink the green tea. You have to exercise along with it. Every body is different. And so what works for me might not work for you. We have to keep in mind that one size does not fit all. And I wanna give a shout out to my Fitbit community for suggesting this video. And I'm super excited to do a few more videos for you guys because you guys have really great ideas and I love them. So look out for those, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any videos and like this video if you want more coming your way. Thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you guys next time.